Hello, Scorpio. This is your reading for July 2020. New energies, positive energies for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. New energies, positive energies, like I said, for those belong to the zodiac sign of Scorpio, full Celtic cross. As you know, this will not resonate with all Scorpios, but I do try to reach the majority. And I always look for a positive reading, but we always give an honest one at the same time. We must give what we're supposed to so you can change your path if you need to. Energy coming in, page of swords. Some of you may get straight to the point. Tell you know, someone what you need to say. You can take on this energy even though it's air type energy. For some of you, you will be down with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It's a straightforward energy. Someone maybe younger, someone with less experience. Current environment, the Three of Cups. Maybe someone overindulged with Three of Cups when it comes to the beverages. Um, it also could be that someone wants to celebrate and are unable to, but what's crossing it is the Seven of Swords energy. Someone felt someone did something a little underhanded. Maybe they had liquid courage and something came out. But the Seven of Swords is someone feeling like someone tried to get by with something, but you saw them do it or you felt like they did it. What is crowning you, the goal is the Six of Swords. You're having trouble moving on from it. You want to move on from it, but you are having trouble. The foundation is the Page of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or messages of stability as the foundation. Maybe as what you're trying to do is what maybe someone else is trying to do. But like I said, um, younger type people or people with lack of experience, lack of experience in the past you got the eight of swords felt trapped by something where you felt like you couldn't get out of it and i will clarify these it's just a canvas you know and then i do my clarifying cards and it makes it more interesting or it can actually change the story up somewhat and i'll be giving you a three card energy read or three pile energy read um pick your path type situation, but in the very near future, you're going to be getting on top of things, Scorpio. You're going to take control. You're going to um, almost take over and take up for yourself in some way with the seven of wands. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is um, judgment in reverse. Don't make a final decision just yet on whatever is coming in. I will clarify. Outside environment, what is coming towards you, someone is putting their swords down and seeing things clearly now. Your hopes and fears is for new positive things coming in. Your ship's coming in. You know, um, things of the passionate nature, you want them to come in. And you're going to put away um, strife or you're going to attempt to. Okay, I'm going to find out what that is. I will clarify what this um, decision that you're having trouble making. Who did that seven of swords energy where someone got thought they were getting by with something? Why are you feeling trapped? And do you release strife. We'll find that out in just a second, hopefully. And like I said, we'll be doing a love reading also. This could be family. This could be career, money, um, love. It could be anything so far. But I do see you taking a stand and taking up for yourself. I do. Th I think a lot of you are putting away strife because someone sees um, things clearly on the outside now. But let's find out more because I do think someone overindulged a little bit and something came out with the Seven of Swords. I need two cards, please, for Scorpio, as the subject in hand, I should say. The sun, you definitely weren't happy about it. Someone offered you something or said something to you that you just didn't like. You rejected it in some way with the Four of Cups. What is crowning you, the goal is the Six of Swords. You had trouble moving on from it or letting it go, or someone else did. Six of Swords in reverse and a two cards, please, or you will be possibly trying to let it go. You're trying to make a final decision. I think the universe says not to make one just yet. Could have to do with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles could be someone who's a little older, a little bit mature, a little bit more stable, a little bit more financially available to help people. So don't make a final decision. You're, you're wanting to make a final decision, maybe a sound, stable decision. Or you're wanting someone else to. That has to do with a lot of pentacles energy, you know, earth sign. But someone is having trouble moving on. This was crowning you. Could have to do with, like I said, someone overindulged. And maybe said, someone said too much. Someone offered something that someone didn't like and made someone unhappy. Um, foundation is a page of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or messages of stability. So I need two cards for the page of pentacles. The foundation. Someone is really stable and secure. Um... 
someone um, has good vibes, you know, they're just really um, grounded. So Page of Pentacles, I need two cards, please, the foundation, two cards. Someone's feeling a little left out and a little abandoned and they're feeling trapped and you may get a message because of it or you may send a message because of it. Because in the past, I see the Eight of Swords here too where someone's feeling trapped. But the story with the Eight of Swords is that it's just feelings. It, there is a possibility to get, get out of this situation. See, this person, this woman, it could be male or female, by the way, it doesn't matter. They're loosely bound and the swords are far apart and they she could just undo those, you know, ties and let go of that blindfold and just walk right through them. But this is a mental energy where someone's mentally feeling trapped by something, but they're not physically, okay? They can get out of it. So I need two cards for the Eight of Swords, please, in the past position. Two cards. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot of you are dealing with the Earth sign, Queen of Cups, that could be you, Scorpio. Um, you're feeling trapped, but the Knight of, I mean, Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is, there's the King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, excuse me, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. You're feeling trapped. You're feeling um, like life is um, keeping you bound somehow, but some, something is going to move forward again. It's going to give you stability. Some of you, like I said, will be dealing with the earth sign, someone that's going to bring in stability. You may not feel like it's going to happen, and you may like not like what is offered to you, or maybe they don't like what was offered to them. But I do see you standing up for yourself and saying what you need to say, getting on top of things. Now, I got something I need to say to you type of situation, and maybe they feel that way too. So the Seven of Wands in the upright in the very near future for Scorpio, why are they taking a stand? What is going on? What well, maybe someone else is. So Seven of Wands, two cards, please. Yeah, someone's going to make you a lot of offers. You may make someone a lot of offers that had to do with, like I said, a pentacles energy. It can be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or someone a little bit younger, a little less experienced. You get on top of things because they're not leaving you a lot of options, maybe. Maybe they're not giving you a lot of options, any options and you're saying, I need more, you know? The universe is saying don't make a sound decision or 100% decision just yet. It's not the right time. Maybe you need to. You feel like you need to. Maybe it's why you're feeling trapped. But, you know, there's a time and place for everything. But I need two cards for the judgment. Reverse. Because I see your goal is to make a final decision. Two cards, please, for the judgment. Someone... Someone is suffering. Don't make a, a final decision because you may be not feeling well. You may be still suffering yourself or the person you're dealing with is suffering in some way. So it's saying to hold off a little bit because someone on the outside coming towards you will put their swords down and see things clearly. Like I said, it just got to do with career. It could have to do with love. So if I get a Scorpio out there and says, well, I hate love, well, maybe this isn't your reading. It could be to have to do with your work situation. But someone sees the situation clearly now when it comes to you, and they put their swords down. They no longer block a situation. So the two of swords in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Scorpio. Two cards. And then, like I said, in the very soon, I'll be, yeah, collaboration. They want to work with you. And they're going to send you a passionate messages. For some of you, be dealing with a fire sign, but I sure do see a lot of earth here. Maybe they have a lot of earth in their astrology chart. Could have all these things, but... So I'm, I'm thinking someone's going to send you a passionate message, someone that really has a lot of, um, they're like young at heart, and they want to collaborate, they want to work with you. And in a way, you're wanting your ships to come in. You want positive things to come in yourself with the Three of Wands. So I need two cards for the Three of Wands. You're wanting better messages, positive messages, loving messages. You want to be more loving and kind yourself. You want to be happier. You want... Um, your joy to come back in, and you want to release attachments and things that obsessive behaviors. Um, you also may not like people who overindulge, or maybe um, you let go, of, like I said, of things that are chaining you. You want to let them go. In the end, maybe you do let go of those five wands, the strife, um, competition, things of that nature. Maybe you put it off in some way. So the five of wands in reverse. I need two cards for Scorpio. Two cards, please. 
Yeah, more balance. You're going to let go of strife. You're going to let go of strife. Could have to do with the King of Swords energy or someone who was real abrupt and straight to the point with no filter. Um, you will be releasing this energy and more balance will become, um, you will have more balance with this person, even though this person is feeling a little off themselves. I do think that conflict will end with them and balance will occur. There could be something going on with them. Um, it says not to make a final decision with whoever you're dealing with. There's all the signs here, so I'm not going to name them all again. But I do see someone is trying to come out of taking a break and heartbreak themselves, and they're going to put their swords down, Things, see things clearly. What you're dealing with is someone who has lack of strength. So you are regaining balance. Um, one, you know, strife will be put down somewhat. You will be taken up for yourself and tell somebody what the options are. You know, messages could have to do, like I said, with a type of younger type person, someone with lack of experience. You yourself are feeling trapped or whoever you're dealing with is, and you're feeling, and this person may be feeling left out in the cold or you may be. But I do see it like where you gain some equilibrium with this person. And they want to collaborate too, but it's up to you. You do get on top of things, like I said, and say, this is what's going to happen. And most likely does happen because I do see the regaining of balance with temperance. And let me give you a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Pick your path. Pick an energy for Scorpio. You can pick a card. Pick a pile. It would be the strongest energy when you do. But I do try to bring them all together for secondary energy because a lot of times they, they do relate. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for July 2020. Love reading for Scorpio. Three cards, please. And the angel, love cards, romance. Angel answers. I need three cards from that. It's a different type of deck. Also, angels tell us about love for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. New energies, positive energies for Scorpio. New energies, positive energies for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising for July 2020. Three cards, please, concerning love for pick your path. Pick your energy. Three cards from the Psychic Tarot, Sun, Moon, Rising, New Energies, Positive Energies from the House of Secrets, House of Sexuality for Scorpio, July 2020. Three cards, please, for your pick your energy. Pick a pile. See what's going on with love. But I do see you in the other energy. I already told you what that's all about. You know, someone does want to collaborate with you, but in this pile, if you pick this, you know, energy, there is a trust needs to be had. If you start trusting in a love situation that may be coming up soon, or maybe it's already here, you will gain abundance in a love relationship. Could have to do with the air energy, air, air, a lot of energy. Um, someone very um, straightforward and to the point, very honest, and they're a go-getter, Okay. You could be dealing with this person, you could be male or female, I'm calling it a night, but um, you can trust this person coming in, you will gain abundance with them if you accept them in your life. If someone has romantic feelings for you, and you know, maybe you do towards them, and something will start, you know, sparking in the next few weeks. Could have to do with the earth sign for some of you. Or someone very stable, someone mature. Oh, we're gonna have a commitment in the future. For a lot of people there that pick this pile, and when I bring them all together, there is a commitment there. Someone wants a solid commitment. Again, with it, this says within the next few months, someone has romantic feelings in the next few weeks, and someone may want to get in a serious relationship within the next few months. It may actually go before the preacher with the hierophant or the judge or someone that, you know, makes the rules in society. So if you bring all these together, you need to trust and love again. Some of you are, you know, feel like you can't, you know, trust people. But if you do um, trust people and bring love again, it'll bring an abundance. Some of you will be dealing with a night of air or someone straight to the point and very honest. Um, you're going to have romantic feelings to this person. They're going to have romantic feelings towards you uh, within the next few weeks. They're going to be very stable, sound, and they're going to make you feel stable and sound. 
Um, after this, a commitment may very well happen. Someone will, may take it, want to take it to the next level when it comes to relationships, especially within the next few months. I know people say, well, with all this going on and everything else, no one's with dating. Maybe not continuously dating, but a lot of people are feeling lonely and don't like being alone. And they may have a different outlook in relationships because of what's going on in the world. But I'm thinking someone's going before the person that makes the decisions and makes things like a, like a preacher, you know, conformity that set the rules when it comes to religious situations or marriage or, you know, judgments. So this is your reading. This is the love reading. Someone's coming in. You're going to have romantic feelings with them and that could very well lead to a commitment. So it's up to you whether you accept it or not. If you're a Scorpio that is like scorning love all the way around, this is not your reading. You got to move on. You know, this is for people that are going to have somebody in their lives and want them. Okay. So I'm going to let this go and I will talk to you later and I'll upload it soon. Bye.